Hey, what's going on everybody? Thomas here and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys not one, not two, but three mock drafts. We have no idea what the Bills are going to do, so stick around and find out. So basically, at the end of this video, I want you guys to go down in the comments and tell me which mock draft, either one, two, or three, you guys want the Bills to do. Um, it actually happened in real life. Um, so without any further introduction, let's jump right into it. So with the first pick in my mock draft number one, I have the Cleveland Browns selecting Sam Darnold. I have the Giants at number two selecting Saquon Barkley. I have the Jets at number three selecting Baker Mayfield. I have the Browns at number four, selecting Bradley Chubb. I have the Broncos at five, selecting Quentin Nelson. And at six, I have the Bills trading up. I have them giving away their 12th, their 22nd, and 53rd overall picks to grab quarterback Josh Rosen from UCLA. So much hype around Josh Rosen going to Buffalo right now, and I think that this pick makes a lot of sense. Um, I would love for it to happen, and I'm sure a lot of fans, a lot of Bills fans out there would also love for that to happen. And it's actually a pretty pretty fair trade, um, the 12, 22, and 53. So moving on, I have the Bills taking Malik Jefferson at 56, inside linebacker from Texas. I also have um, the Bills selecting Equanimous St. Brown uh, at 65, wide receiver Notre Dame. I have Frank Regno at 96, center offensive guard from Arkansas. And then at pick 121, I have Trenton Thompson, uh, defensive tackle from Georgia. At 166, I have Kalen Bollage, running back, uh, Arizona State. And lastly, at 187, I have Darius Phillips, cornerback from Western Michigan. So I think that this is a pretty fair trade. It fills a couple of holes while still getting your, hopefully, your franchise quarterback of the future. So moving on to mock draft number two, I have the Cleveland Browns selecting a little bit of a surprise pick here, but Josh Allen. I have the Giants at number two selecting Sam Darnold, the Jets at number three selecting Baker Mayfield, the Browns at four drafting Saquon Barkley, the Broncos at five drafting Quentin Nelson, the Colts at six drafting Bradley Chubb, the Bucks at seven drafting Minka Fitzpatrick, the Bears at eight drafting Denzel Ward, the 49ers at 9 drafting Marcus Davenport. And at the 10th overall pick, I have the Buffalo Bills trading up to grab quarterback Josh Rosen. Now, like my last mock draft or mock draft number one, I have Josh Rosen going number six to the Bills. Um, the Buffalo Bills trading up. Um, in this mock draft, I have him falling. You know, there's been a couple mock drafts done by professionals or NFL analysts, if you will, if you want to call them professionals. I don't know. They seems like they get to just make up stuff like I do and get a, and get paid for it. But um, but yeah, I have the I have Rosen falling to Buffalo at 10 and them trading up. I have them trading uh, the 12th overall pick, the 56th overall pick, and the 166th overall pick. Um, and then also moving on at 22. I have the Bills selecting guard from UTEP, Will Hernandez. At 53, I have them selecting Cortland Sutton, wide receiver, SMU. At 65, Malik Jefferson, inside linebacker, Texas. At 96, to make Trey White happy, Dante Jackson, cornerback, LSU. At 121, I have offensive tackle from Louisville, Jerron Christian, and at 187, I have the defensive tackle from Texas, Puna Ford. So in this draft, I kind of have, you know, a more, I, I really focused on what the Buffalo Bills needed um, instead of just best player available. Really try to fill holes, but still get your quarterback of the future. But this mock draft is favorable to me instead of the first one, only because you basically get your quarterback of the future by only giving up 12, 56, and 166 compared to 12, 22, and 53. And my third and final mock draft, I have the Cleveland Browns at number one selecting Sam Darnold, the Giants at number two selecting Saquon Barkley, the Jets at number three selecting Baker Mayfield, the Browns at number four selecting Bradley Chubb, the Broncos at number five selecting Josh Rosen, 
the Colts at number six selecting Quentin Nelson, the Buccaneers at seven drafting Minka Fitzpatrick, the Bears at eight drafting Denzel Ward, the 49ers at nine drafting Marcus Davenport, the Raiders at 10 drafting Roquan Smith, the Dolphins at 11 drafting Tremaine Edmonds, and then with the 12th overall pick in the NFL draft, I have the Buffalo Bills drafting Josh Allen, quarterback out of Wyoming. Um, you know, a lot of people don't like him, um, and a lot of people do like him. Uh, I think big arm talent is overrated. There's no way you're going to throw the ball over 50 yards for more than even two times a game. So it's really kind of like, eh, you really want to make sure that you're accurate as a quarterback. But I have to also see the quarterback that they had to work with down in Carolina, Cam Newton, you know, big, strong guy who can run the ball, but who can also throw the ball. Not entirely accurate, but is a playmaker. And that's exactly what I kind of see in Josh Allen. I kind of see a, a white Cam Newton when I look at Josh Allen. And so I could see the Buffalo Bills pulling the trigger on him being at 12. At 22, I have the Buffalo Bills selecting offensive tackle, offensive guard from Texas, Connor Williams. Um, you know, he's a first round talent, in my opinion. Great pick. Um, you know, being able to have some versatility, offensive guard, offensive tackle, but also have a solid player. Um, very key, especially when losing, um, you know, a couple of pro bowlers um, this offseason. Um, at 53, I have cornerback from Colorado, Isaiah Oliver. At 56, I have running back, LaShawn McCoy, 2.0 in my opinion, Sony Michelle from Georgia. At 65, I have Josie Jewell, inside linebacker from Iowa. At 96, I have Deshaun Hamilton, wide receiver, Penn State. At 121, I have Trenton Thompson, defensive tackle, Georgia. At 166, I have center from Alabama, Bradley Bozeman. And lastly, I have at 187, Tony Adams, offensive guard, North Carolina State. So obviously, this draft, you don't get Josh Rosen. You don't get a good quarterback. Nah, I don't want to say you don't get a good quarterback because who knows what Allen's going to be. You get a question mark uh, at quarterback who can develop. You don't know exactly how he's going to fair in your offense and in the NFL so you got to make sure that you know you fill out the draft as as you go and I think you get some very good picks in this in this mock draft that I have here while also kind of settling a little bit uh, with Josh Allen so that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I just wanted to make it you know just a little bit of a fun like oh what could the Bills grab you know get in the spirit of the draft it's Thursday and everybody is going to be drinking and eating wings and having fun and partying in Buffalo so uh, this Thursday and, and Friday and Saturday so it's going to be a lot of fun um, and I just wanted to hype everybody up out there you know see what the Buffalo Bills could choose um, and you know I was like you know what should I do a mock draft should I do two mock drafts should I do three I'm like you know what let's just go all out let's do it you know what I mean? So, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please go leave a like down below. Comment your opinions. Mock draft one, two, or three. Let me know exactly what players or what mock draft fits you and what you guys think uh, is the best mock draft for the Bills. I would love to know, and I'm sure the Buffalo Fanatics would love to know as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content like this all the time. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to notify you every single time we have a new video so that you never miss another upload. But that's going to do it for me, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you're watching this from. And I hope you guys have an amazing draft. I hope it all goes well for the Buffalo Bills. Best luck to them. Um, but with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.